This guide shows you what to do if your autoplay settings are all mucked up, i.e. you put a external hard drive or a flash drive in and say for instance it wants to automatically import photos or it could be every time you plug it in it just opens up an explorer window so like this it just shows the files in it what if you want to reset it well stay tuned more details coming up don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you so as i say if you've set your autoplay settings to automatically load a program like photos or you've set them so that it opens Explorer and perhaps you don't want to, perhaps you want to reset it back to asking you whenever you plug in an external device. Well, this guide is going to show you how you do it. Now, I'm using Windows 11, but I'm sure the same process will work in Windows 10 too. So the best place to go, first of all, is the classic control panel. So click on the start button and just on your keyboard, type the word control. Then hopefully after a few seconds under best match, you should see control panel app. Move your mouse over it, left click once. Now, when you open this up, this could be shown in three different ways. So you might have it as large icons. You may have it as category there or you may have it as small icons just there. Now, whatever you've got, click on the arrow just pointing downwards, just to the right of whatever is to the right of view by, and then click large icons, just so that we're all working from the same layout. Now, once you've done that, double click on auto play, and this window should appear. And here straight away under removable drive and under choose what to do with each type of media, I have got for pictures, I've got open view folder to view files and in brackets file explorer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the drop down arrow and see what options we've got here. So we've got four options. We've got import photos and videos, photos. So that will basically open up the photos app in Windows 10 or 11 and start importing any photos that are on there if the media is just pure photos. You've got the option to take no action or you've got the option to open folder to view files. So it opens up File Explorer like I just had it just then. Or you've got Ask Me Every Time. Now the default action is to click Ask Me Every Time. Just make sure that all of these are selected to Ask Me Every Time. And you can even go as far as clicking on the little box just to the left of choose what to do with each file type and remove the tick from it. And that basically resets it back to the default. So right now, if I was to plug in a, a USB drive, I'm just gonna unplug that drive and plug it straight back in again. And then hopefully if you keep your eyes on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, nope, didn't work. Okay, so let's just try that again. Let's just double check that I've set the settings correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the start button there and then I'm going to type on the keyboard control and then once control panel app appears under best match, click on that, go to auto play. Okay, and that didn't hold. I think I know why, because I didn't click save. So I'm just going to untick choose what to do with each type of media. But actually before I do that, let's just set that back to ask every time, ask every time untick choose what to do with each type of media okay click on save down the bottom there i'm just going to quickly nip back in there i'm just going to check yep that's held this time so i'm just going to click on save again okay close this down i'm going to plug the usb in and keep an eye on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and hopefully now it should there you go it should say select what happens with removable drive so if i click on that i will get options there so I can either configure storage settings on there or I can go to open to view files or I can take no action or if I don't want to select any of those I can just click away from that and that will then disappear. So there we go that guide showed you how to reset your autoplay settings. Now there is another way to do that but there's not as many options in there. If you click on the start button and then click on settings and then just type up here, auto play, okay? You will have 
a couple of options. So let's just do that, autoplay, and there we go. So we've got autoplay settings. If I click on that, there you go. So you've got here, you can turn uh, autoplay on or off for all drives. If you don't want it on at all, you can just turn it off and anything you plug in won't automatically come up. You've also got removable drive there. So that gives you those options that we had in the top right hand corner of the screen just now. And you've got options for the memory card as well. This was also on the classic control panel, but the classic control panel does give you more flexibility choosing what you want. Now, hopefully over time, this particular autoplay setting in Windows 10 and Windows 11 will become more, will have more options over time, but at the moment it is still work in progress and is quite basic. So there you go, I hope this guide helped and if it did, why not stick around? Have a look at my other videos, I've got thousands of videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.